Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Tip of the Week video. This week I'll be taking a look at a new feature that's been introduced with iOS 10 that alleviates a lot of the problems that people had when they didn't want to use the built-in Apple apps. Uh, previously, what we used to do if we wanted to get rid of, say, stocks and weather, is we'd actually go into what I call jiggle mode, drag that across and drop it onto another icon, and then just forget about this folder full of Apple apps. But what you can do now, if I just drag these out, uh, what you can do now is you can see there is an X on the Weather app and also the Stocks app. And there's a whole host of apps now that you can delete from your iPhone if you don't use them. Uh, apps such as Calculator, Calendar, Compass, Contacts, FaceTime, there's a whole host. I'll actually put a list up on the screen rather than read them all out. And to delete them, it's exactly the same as a standard application. For instance, to get rid of weather, I just tap on the X. Removing this app from the home screen will also delete your weather data, which is fine. And stocks as well, we'll remove that. And that removes the stocks data. If you remove something such as calendar, which is on the second screen, I hit that, it actually deletes the app, but it won't delete any data, any calendar data. So you can still use third party apps to uh, access your calendar data. So we'll say remove, and that's now gone. Now to restore these apps back to your iOS device, uh, the truth of the matter is they're not actually deleted, they're just hidden away. But you do have to go to the App Store to put them back. So for instance, if we wanted to put the weather app back, we'll go to the App Store, we'll go to search and we'll search for weather. You'll see that we have the standard weather app from Apple. If I tap the download button, you'll see virtually instantaneously, it gives me the option to open the app. That's because it's not been deleted, it's just been hidden from your home screen. So also if we go ahead, we do a quick search for stocks, say. There's the Apple Stocks app. Tap on the download button, and again, instantly it's ready and available. So that's how you delete and reinstall the standard Apple apps. If you want to learn more about using your Apple devices, there are over 700 full video tutorials available to Screencast Online members, covering all aspects of the Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and even the Apple TV. Now, all full members receive a new Apple-related video tutorial each and every week, as well as a free subscription to the Screencast Online monthly magazine, packed with videos and articles on getting the most out of your Apple devices. Now you can get your free 14-day trial membership over at screencastsonline.com or check out some of the free content over on the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone and Apple TV. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another tip, so I'll speak to you then.